Hey guys, so we're here and we have a returning type of banner, which is the rearms and ascended units. So this I didn't even so this is probably the new banner they were like promoting a lot last month, so on the fancy guy show, so it's nice to have. So I double check the rates, it's double rates, double focus rates, and so basic on you know the usual stuff, and you can spark. Let's go for the units on the last in case anyone hasn't recorded them. So we have rearmed leaf with the arcane Eldrinner. A status for the trigger at the start of combat if HP is 25% or above. Fixed attack, defense minus 6 on the full trade combat. He's guaranteed to follow attack. Full combat make a follow up attack. And fixed colon charge minus 1 on the full per attack. Then we have open the future. Can't be inherited. But boost size by 50% of his defense. And resource HP equals 25% of the damage dealt. If we have attack speed class 4. If he or the foe initiate combat after moving to a different space. Brands motion to his attack defense during combat equal to X plus 6. And X is the number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiates combat, and the maximum that is 4. And if X is equal or more than 2, neutralize the penalty to his attack defense during combat. So we could be solid. Daily balance is also exclusive to leave. At the start of combat, if HP is 50% or above, or if a penalty is active on him, and fixed attack defense minus 5 on the foe during combat, and grants special clone charge plus 1 per foe's attack. Only has high supplies and stack, and in no. no and if it's granting the foe to zero damage. Then attack defense minus at the start of turn, if he is in force base with foe, attack defense minus 6 on the foe, nearest foe, and to the next action, and he gets attack defense minus plus 6. And of course, well, it's three armies, you can do it different once. Lo Fallen Love is not I a Fallen or Ascended because we because Ophelia I'm guessing was just because or, yeah Ophelia was in the Here Rides banner they want to bring her back quickly a little quickly since that banner had been released and then to her we weapon of choice Silent Power Speed plus 3 she can move to a space when two spaces of a support partner at the start of turn if she's been two spaces of a support partner Grants no follow up to her and the ally from turn. At the start of combat, if HP is 25% or above. Grants attack speed, defense, rest plus 5 during combat. And then Church of Dragon's own ability. Is, and that's his full range too. Calculate damage using the lower the foe's defense arrays. And then her no follow up here, so he outspeeds the foe. Neutralize the effects guarantees the foe's follow attack and prevents hers. Draconic Aura, boosts the damage by 30% of her attack. Can be useful. Attack speed catch 4. At the start of combat, if foe's HP is 100%, or if a penalty is active on foe. Attack speed plus 7. If both conditions are met, she gets an additional plus 2 for a net bonus of 9. Dive bomb. At start of combat, if both her and the foe's HP is 80% or above, and she needs to co combat, she can make a follow before the foe can counter. And then speed smoke. 4 is at the combat, it's like speed minus 7 on target and focusing 2 pieces of that target for the next action. And she gets plus 6 at speed and dodge. And dodge is the sheer speed to the foe. Reduce the damage during combat and effect specials, excluding the broker because it's a post battle special. Better percentage equal to the difference times 4 up to 40%. 10 to match the number. Ascended Ishtar with the Thunder Mjolnir. A Salus with trigger, current hands 1. And then a star combat, if HP is 25% or above, grants attack speed plus 6 here during combat, and neutral effects grants cooling charge plus X on the foe, or effects minus X on her. That's also cooling charge. And also, if she needs combat and she, she equal or speeds the foe by 10, she strikes twice. Okay. Luna, trace foe's defense and rise to 50% during combat, two charge banks to the weapon, life death 4. Attack speed plus 7, but she loses 5 defense and res. So, okay, that's class cannon. Low speed res 3. Speed res minus 3 on the foe, and neutralizes opponents to the stats. This is on the foe during combat, so from things like rally, fortify rally, etc. And time pulse 3. At start turn, a Conan coin is the maximum value. Conan coin minus 1. Then we have Ascended Indoon. Don't drink, do drink soon. Another cell split trigger. It's also effective against armor foes. Neutralizes the effect against armor foes on her. If she's in free space an ally, 
She gets attack speed defenseress. Sorry, she inflicts attack speed defenseress minus five on the foe during combat. Neutralize balance on her during combat. And the foe coming follow attack. And then the dragon zone like last warning. Bonfire, two charge tanks to the weapon. Boost stance by 50% or for defense. Sturdy stance, if foe needs to use combat. Attack defense plus six. During combat and inflicts current charge minus one on the foe per attack. Has high supplies in the stack. Woolly fighter free. If her HP is 25% or above, and full energy combat, neutralizes any bonuses during the foe, on the foe during combat, and she's guaranteed a follow up attack. And defense rest near safe free. If foe uses a sword, lance, axe, dragon spoon, or beast, and the energy combat against an ally in two spaces, she triggers savior. And if that savior is triggered, defense rest plus four. And savior just means that she takes place, she fights instead of the ally. Standard movement type rules apply, so she cannot use it on a tal. She can't take enter combat on a tal that she can't actually enter herself. So she cannot because she can't enter mountains or sea. She can't. That's more one trigger. Then ascended Hilda, free me free Kunkel. A spell spell trigger again. We're seeing that effect quite a lot now. At the start of combat, for allies been two spaces of her. If an ally. If the ally has higher defense than her, or if she has not entered combat during this current phase, attacks with defense trust plus three, arm resistance by foes first attack by 20% to those allies during combat. If any at the start of any combat of her, if she's not if she's not in two speeds on any ally whose defense is greater than hers, or if she's not chasing any ally. Uh, she gets attack defense, sorry, attack speed plus 6, armor design by force first attack by 40%, and deals damage equal to X percent of sp her speed when special triggers. An X is the number of max colon can value times 10, the fight, I guess, the fight it by plus 20. Excluding, you know, although my mouth may be wrong on that one. Luna choose force defense time red, so it's by 50% during combat. No, okay, look. Attack speed solo 4. While she's not near an ally, as she's near an ally, attack speed plus 7. Ferocity. If she has the foe, which is times by percentage difference, times 4, up to 40%, can't imagine the number. Also excluding the rubber effect, but, you know. And also damage during common number specials. Neutralizes effects that flex cool and charge minus X on her. And then joint try speed. Speed plus 4 to also in two species, and she also receives the plus 4 speed if she's within two species of an ally. Good stuff, Hetzman's Glitnir. A solid special trigger, so could it one. At the start of combat, if HP is 25% or above, it takes attack, speed, defense, minus 5 on the foe during combat, gets colon charge plus 1, and inflicts colon charge minus 0 on the foe. We burn attack during combat. When it has high spies and stack. And also, if foe can crater, or if foe needs to combat, he's guaranteed to follow up. Bonfire, we've covered that already, no need to talk about it here. Attack, defense, catch. We've talked about that, so we're gonna speed that. We need to speed that up. As also the attack, defense variant. Attack, defense, near transfer. And it was Kanto remaining plus one, and def attack, defense, minus three on the full during combat. And Kanto is basically after our combat, assist skill or structure restriction. Can't move again. And Gustav's case is whatever his remaining space was before that plus one. So for example, if he moves two, he'll have one. If it's the actual movement left. And then 1 plus 1 is 2, so he can move twice. Or if he did it without moving, it then it's just 3 plus 1 is 4. That thing. Standard room rules apply. Uh, just... And then basically, counter will trigger after. Uh, so, as here. so, yeah, after moving skill. After moving, if a skill will granted our action will be triggered, like Gale Force, counter will trigger after the granted action. So in this case, Gale Force trigger first, and then Kanto on afterwards. And you cannot warp, so... Wing to Mercy. And you won't trigger. Oh, and then attack defense, move four. Attack command is of the full turn nerfs. Target of full turn the nerfs action. Defense trust plus six to him for one turn, and he's granted full combat while attack for one turn. Very busy. Ascend the Fiora, new height bow. It is against flying foes, it's a bow, makes sense. And then... Your traditional SL special trigger. I do not really need to cover that, I guess. But still do. If her HP is 60% or below, 
She came into a space adjacent to you. Alice came into a space adjacent to her. And then Alice in two spaces can move to a space within two, two spaces of her. Insurgent in case of an ally. Attack. Def attack speed plus six. Your comment until time is equal to 50% of her speed. So yeah, it's using free space as an ally. Don't know what coming. Mimbo, change full defense and right to spike for the percent one turn. One charge finds the weapon. Attack speed push four. At star combat, if HP is 25% or above. Attack speed plus seven, but takes seven, five damage out of combat if she attacks. Speed defense part times three. It's called two remaining. And speed defense minus three on the full turn combat. So basically similar to Gustav's, except it's. Yeah, the Ravini on speed defense. I'm gonna cover joint trace space when we cover that. Lodge room, flame room spell. A south spell triggers the minus one. Effect against fine bows. Of course, it's a bow. If a bonus is active on her, attack speed plus six. And attack speed defense res are plus during combat equal to 50% of the total bonuses on her and foe. The maximum is 12. And also, if the total no bonuses on her and the foe is equal or more than 10. Neutralize effects again that prevents her follow attack. So quite a lot of could be useful. Moonbill, we covered that. Swiss Sparrow, if she needs to combat. Attack plus sp 6, speed plus 7 during combat. Attack defense, far times 3. We covered that basically with Furina, it's just the attack defense variation of that skill. And Ruse, attack speed 4. At start turn, if she is not a an ally. Attack speed plus 6 to her and Null's Panic for one turn. And Null's Panic is that you know, she any neutralizes panic, so it confirms penalties to bonuses. Neutralizes and then neutralizes to convert the bonuses into penalties. Effect for one turn. And there's also three that is a panic, a penalty stat, though, to keep knowing that. I'm honestly just gonna say if anyone is really going, if you haven't got leaf, just go for him. I mean, it's always nice to have him anyway, but I'm looking to just get more heroes I haven't got, so I'm gonna go with Air Fiorina. Not Florian. Freaking in the no Ishtar and Hilda, but I'm gonna go green. I'll try for Hilda. Nonetheless, best looking your summons. Nonetheless, so I got nothing. But naturally, just prioritize Leaf if you have if you want to, because the others are like in nor in the normal pool, but they're unfeatured. We're late for the new ones coming back. And best looking your summons. I'll see you next time.